Hi, I'm Alison and I'm going to read you a story tonight. Are you ready for bed? I am and so is Bear. I'm going to read to you from a story that I wrote. It's called, Are We Nearly There Yet? It's an Easter story and it's about the disciples having to wait for something for a really long time. Two excited children are wriggling in the car. They're driving down to Granny's. It's really, really far. They're waiting to see Granny and eat an Easter lunch. But most of all, they're waiting for some chocolate eggs to munch. Are we nearly there yet? When will we arrive? We're tired and we're bored from the long, long drive. Just a little longer and it will all be great. I'll tell the Easter story, so listen while you wait. Jesus' disciples had followed him about. They saw him calm a mighty storm with just a single shout. He fed 5,000 people with just some fish and bread. Incredible! Amazing! That's what the people said. Are we nearly there yet? When will you be king? Show them you're the boss, in charge of everything. Just a little longer. The time has nearly come. Soon the world will see I'm king of everyone. Jesus on a donkey was riding into town. The crowd was waving gladly and laying branches down. They shouted, Jesus save us! And Jesus is the king! And Jesus' disciples all turned and said to him, are we nearly there yet? Today must be the day. They want to make you king. Let's do it straight away. Now the waiting's over. The time has now arrived. I'll show them I'm the king, but I think you'll be surprised. Just a few days later, some soldiers came along. And Jesus' disciples thought the plan was going wrong. Jesus was arrested and on a cross he died. His friends were sad and worried. They ran away and cried. Are we nearly there yet? We thought he was the boss. We thought we'd see him on a throne, not dying on a cross. Just a little longer. Hang on a little more. We don't know why we're waiting or what we're waiting for. Now, Jesus died on Friday, but when Sunday came around, the tomb was broken open. An earthquake shook the ground. I told you I was God's king. I said you'd be surprised. It looked like I was finished, but now I am alive. Are we nearly there yet? Well, now we understand. Dying to forgive us was exactly what you'd planned. We thought we'd cry forever, but it was worth the wait. Now Jesus is the real king, it's time to celebrate. Did you hear that the disciples were waiting for Jesus to be made king? But when it happened, it wasn't at all what they expected. I'm going to pray now. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for sending Jesus as the real King. Thank you that he died so that we could be forgiven. Amen.